Welcome back to my garage. Today we continue on the load cell dyno build. A dyno built to suit the what's to become the world's most powerful two-stroke ever. We also break the mill yet again. I was trying to get some, uh, some nicer footage for the camera and uh, just that tiny little uh, pass there without coolant, chip welding and, uh, and the broken end mill. I'm waiting for a lot more of these from China, hoping this wasn't the last one. That was the last one of these 8mm uh, um, flat end mills with, uh, with, with the fluid length which I need for this piece and uh, I can just make new new tool uh, tool path with a different tool but haven't got time for that today luckily I have time for that tomorrow because uh, you know working half time in the garage In the middle of machining a bearing block for the jack shaft and the breaker starts tripping when I start the spindle and now it breaks or it goes off whenever I try to turn on the mill. So uh, troubleshooting. It's not easy to see anything in here but uh, I have a suspicion my motor is uh, going bad. I might be driving it a little bit too hard. So I'm going to try to disconnect the motor from the it's tight in here from the board and see what happens Let's see what happens hmm I've disconnected the drive board from this uh, power distribution breaker thing now disconnected everything from this uh, contactor and uh, it's still triggering when I apply power here. Nah. 
that was a lot of work for nothing i think because this is the main switch and uh it's really not meant to be main switch for this much current and yeah the switch is there's been a lot of arcing there and this switch holder is uh that's not enough but i have a replacement here so i'm gonna replace that switch i'm gonna replace the breaker with this one and that should actually solve my problems and so a couple of hours down the drain at least we got to clean those contacts well we won't know until the fat lady sinks success No luck here. It's um, either the motor controller or the motor. I think the motor. Machine some pieces of camera though before this happened. Another one of these and a bracket for the load cell. You can see there's a slight mismatch here and those holes aren't in the center. That's because when I flipped it I used the wrong origin when I uh, serialed my mill. So, uh, But it'll work. It'll work fine. I removed the cover, I attached some leads to the motor to test it. I tried first with this uh, power supply, but uh, it can't supply enough current, five amps, and uh, it says 30 volts, but I can't go, I can't get it to get above uh, eight volts. But uh, to my lipo here, and the motor is running. Seems to be fine. So there's something with the controller. I don't think the brushes is the problem. They look absolutely fine and the commutator also looks fine but I'm doing some cleaning anyway and maybe it helps. Did not help. There's a diode here and one leg was desoldered. It's a D20 and I checked that diode and it's um, it's what puts the drive into overload mode if, um, if it senses overload. And uh, so I soldered in that diode and now it's uh, it's not tripping the breaker anymore. It's uh, sensing or showing overload. This uh, LED is uh, lighting up and overload. So I think the previous owner removed or desoldered that diode uh, for a reason. And uh, I think it's time to look for a, a new DC driver board and uh, replace this old one. Yeah, I've hooked up the your dyno box to the load cell and uh, I'm in the software here and there's a calibration step that needs to be done. I'm not gonna do it properly now, but just show you. This is the options window in your dyno and I'm in the basic dyno setup, 30 millimeters as torque arm length because there's a really short torque arm length here. That's because my load cell is, um, is pretty 
strong <laughs> for for this engine. I was uh, originally going to mount it after the gear reduction <coughs> and that would have produced a lot more torque but now it's uh, directly mounted to the engine and um, this won't produce more than 10 between 10 and 15 uh, newton meters. Calibration weight 4.69 kilograms. That's a little bit less than 10% of my load cell rating. I should really use uh, 20%. I think that's what they're <coughs> what they're recommending. So uh, I <coughs> need to use a heavier weight. Load calibrate. And you can see it calibrates to 4.69 or 4.7. I think this can I think the best thing to do here is to leave this sitting for a while. I think the, that was what was recommended to get the best um, accuracy. But not now. Now it reads zero and if I put the weight on there... It reads four point, between 4.5 and 4.7. 4 the weight is swinging a little bit there, so... I really need to put this up on an angle to get a straight line there, to get the proper calibration, but uh, we'll do that later. Okay, thanks for watching, see you next time.